The two week positivity rate average in Miami Dade and Broward counties is above 10%, and that's the threshold health officials considered safe for students to return to class in the fall. And that has school officials looking into alternatives. CBS 4's Joe Murray's in Fort Lauderdale, and she takes a closer look at what's being considered to keep students and staff safe. How are you doing? Hope well. Welcome to the Sunrise Online Showcase, everybody. It's a glimpse into what Broward Public Schools will look like in the fall. With coronavirus cases steadily above 10%, the superintendent told the school board Wednesday face to face learning is not possible. When schools open on August 19th, it will be 100% e learning. Administrators offered a mock up of a typical day at home for a fourth grader, logging in and then taking online 90 minute courses with a couple of breaks. That left the teachers' union wondering if it was too exhausting. Miami Dade schools are also drafting at home learning scenarios with the virus infection rate soaring. Fall is coming and our schools will be opened safely. But some South Florida charter schools are looking at alternatives. Uh, we know that in school students. Students, um, you know, socially, emotionally uh, do well. Um, uh, uh, you know, when you talk about nutritional and food, uh, you know, that's a, a big piece of it. Um, and then, you know, nothing beats face-to-face uh, -face instruction. I spoke with Eddie Ruiz, Florida Director for Charter Schools USA, which operates more than a dozen charter schools in Miami-Dade and Broward, including the well-known Renaissance Charter Schools. They are offering three choices for parents, five days a week in school, fully mobile or a blended approach. Ruiz says they've been preparing classrooms so students and teachers can feel safe. Even the way you walk a hallway, go to the restroom, you know, the washing the hands protocol, taking our temperature, wearing our masks. And so all of that playing it out in each portion of the school, we practiced that, we did that, and we've gotten it better. We also checked with the archdiocese and learned no final decision has been made on South Florida Catholic schools, whether there will be in-class or online learning. It all depends on what happens with the infection rate during the next three weeks. And though these doors will not be opening August 19th, Broward superintendents said they do have to be ready to pivot. So if the infection rates do go down over the coming months, they can be ready to welcome children back into the classroom. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.